Hi, I'm Jessica Lemkin and I'm an equine massage therapist and um, today I just wanted to demonstrate a very simple post-exercise stretching and mobilisation routine for your horse. So just taking um, everything, all the, the limbs and joints uh, through their normal range of motion following exercise just to ensure everything's working as it should and to sufficiently cool down and relax your horse following um, their exercise routine. So we just got back from our ride, me and Harvey. This is Harvey, he's my uh, 12 year old traditional cock and uh, he's been working hard today and so I just I've untacked him, I've brushed him off and now we're going to just do some very gentle stretches before we pop him back out in the field. The first thing I'm going to do is take each of his limbs through their normal range of motion and that gives Harvey the ability to stretch if he wants to. So I wouldn't ask him, I wouldn't force him ever to stretch, but I just give him the opportunity to do that if he wants to, and he may take that opportunity and he may not. So I'm going to start with the forelimb. I'm going to um, rotate the forelimb, which is just the same as us doing a lovely shoulder rotation, which is really nice to do after you've exercised and you've been activating your muscles it's a lovely way just to move and stretch it up you know how that feels yourself so we're going to help him to do that and then we're going to stretch the forelimb forward which is a protraction and we're going to bring it back which is a retraction so just taking it through its range of motion uh, and helping him to feel good after exercise i'm going to pick up the forelimb And I'm just going to give you a visualisation to help you with this exercise. So I'm pretending that he's got a pencil on his knee and it's going to the floor and we're going to be drawing some nice big circles in each direction with that pencil. So rotating that forelimb, just getting all the muscles of the thoracic limb that have been engaging during your ride just to loosen up and relax. to bring the forelimb forward so I'm going to protract it just to give him an opportunity to stretch. To do that I normally hold the toe and just uncurl the leg rather than just yank it forward so I'll uncurl it at the knee and then the feather and that gives him the opportunity to stretch if he wants to which he actually is he's actually pulling back on me there and having a stretch which is really nice, but if he didn't do that, that's fine too. And then I want to bring the forelimb back into a retraction. And I'm not going to force anything, just sticking within his normal range of motion. And if he wants to stretch more, he can. But if he's happy with that, that's fine too. And then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. We're next going to move to the hind limb uh, just to check that everything is moving as it should. Post exercise, nice and relaxed. We're going to do some hip circles, a bit like this. Um, and we're going to protract and retract the hind limb as well. I like to hold the toe. If you're not confident doing that, you can hold the fetlock. And going back to our pencil analogy, we've got our pencil on the floor and we're going to circle. So moving that hip, making sure everything's nice and relaxed post-exercise. And then I'm going to protract the limb. Again, I'm going to give him the opportunity to stretch if he wants to. And notice I like to use my knees to support my arms especially with a heavy horse like this his feet are quite weighty so that just saves my back and then you can always try and progress the stretch if he wants to never pull just give him the opportunity and then to the retraction i like to use my knee again to support my back and some horses will really take the opportunity to stretch that hind limb out behind them. 
And you can see he's quite happy, he really enjoys his hind limb stretches because he does work quite nicely from behind so it's a nice way to stretch off after exercise. And again repeat that on the other side. The next stretch that I'd like to do is with the tail. So the tail is obviously uh, the extension of the spine, the caudal vertebrae of the tail start here up in the, just after the sacrum. Um, and it's really relaxing for horses to rotate the tail. So starting at the bottom, some horses will clamp their tail. So just really, I would start at the bottom of the tailbone, rotating and work your way up until you've got a nice relaxed tail. And then if your horse will allow, you can actually get some nice, quite big circles. And most horses do find this really relaxing, especially after exercise. The tail can actually be quite tight area in the horse. The horse that's holding tension will hold tension in the tail. Um, so that's one of the reasons I always like to mobilise the tail after exercise. And then we're going to head up to the other end and we're going to have a look at the pole. So the pole area is also an area that gets really tight and tense during exercise for a number of reasons. One of the reasons being it's where your bridle sits behind the ears, your brow band across the temple and quite often as much as we like to think our bridles fit our horses beautifully when there's pressure on the bit um, you're going to get tension there. So a lot of horses actually um, when you take their bridle off you find that they rub their heads so you either rub it on you or they rub it on their hay neck um, and I, I, that, a lot of people think that's just a rude thing to do and it, you know the horse just wants to get the bridle off maybe they do want to get the brain up but imagine if you've got those pressure points there for a period of time that's going to cut off circulation and it could cause pins and needles um, so I actually think that one of the reasons that the horse is doing this they're trying to get the circulation back in their face they've got, they've got this uh, pins and needles feeling so I think it's really important that if your horse is one of those horses or, or even if they're not you know, give them the opportunity to get that blood flow back into their head scratch them around where the bridle goes get that circulation going back and, and, and if anything else they'll just really enjoy it it's just a really nice thing to do so don't chastise your horse for doing that by all means don't let them rub on you but um, I would certainly be looking to get the circulation back into your horse's head after you've ridden them another thing that you can do to help release the pole is to rotate the ears but the ears have 10 muscles controlling them and um, that's a lot of muscles for a small area and the ears are very busy and they also connect into that pole that could be tight so I like to rotate the ears if you hold the ear at the very base so not so not up here just at the very base of the ear and then rotate the ear just like you rotated the legs just like you rotated the tail we're now going to rotate the ears and you can do again I like to have use repetitions um, so five in each direction are there any of these rotations five in each direction is ample if you want to do more you can and then you can move on to the other side we'll now finish up our cool down routine with some baited stretches and um, I always leave the baited stretches to the end because once you've got the treats out you've got no chance of doing anything else and um, if you've seen my warm up and activation video, you'll have seen some baited stretches and these were targeted at activating the horse's muscles. But this, um, these ones are going to be different. Um, these ones are targeted at stretching the horse and um, stretching the neck in particular. I'm going to ask Harvey to follow my treat. I've got a Thunderbook hay cob. You can use any of your horse's favourite treat. Just be careful with your fingers. And I'm going to keep his head close to his body, unlike the activation exercise, this is a stretch. What's really important in this stretch is that you don't allow your horse to twist at the pole. I want the pole to be nice and straight, 
so that all the cervical vertebrae are in alignment. So that's really important to me. Um, a lot of horses, they don't want to stretch through the lower neck, so they'll put their head around and they'll twist at the pole. And that's not the stretch that I want. I want a stretch through the whole length of the neck. So let's just do that again. So pull nice and straight, stretching all the way down through each of those cervical vertebrae. So hopefully you can see that. If your horse starts to twist at the pole, it's because they're not stretching through the lower part of the, of the neck. So that's really uh, quite important. The other thing that I, is really important after riding is a neck extension. Because when we ride, we ask our horses to come in on, on the bit um, and into a lot of people, um, whether they mean to or not, the horse isn't riding forward and down, the horse is it's up and on the bit. So they can get really tight in the lower neck and then this brachiocephalicus muscle, which is in the lower neck, so I really want to stretch that out and elongate it and um, so I can do that by extending the neck. So I'm going to ask Harvey to extend but not walk forwards. Now he is, um, as I mentioned in my activation video, this is a strong horse with a good posture. So he can extend his neck here and just stand perfectly still. Your horse may not be able to do that. Your horse may want to walk forward or may lose their balance. If that's the case, you might want to start doing this exercise either over a fence, over the stable door, or over a, a, a stall guard, or something like that, just to stop them from walking forwards. And I like to do the extension stretch at, at different heights. I like to move the horse's neck round into different heights, different um, areas just to get that nice flexibility through that neck after the rhythm work. And then mine to the other side. So he's a bit tighter this way. I don't know if you can see that, but he actually does want to kind of twist a little bit when we get to this side. Um, so I'm just being quite strict. I'm standing here and I'm pushing his face because I want that nice straightness through those vertebrae. I don't, don't want that twisting at the pole. So I hope that um, demonstrates that a little bit for you as well. That he wants to do this. Can you see that? And uh, I want him to do this. There. I want him there. So I'm hoping that demonstrates that for you a little bit. So Harvey's been activated, hope, uh, pre exercise he's gone and done his, um, some riding and then we've come back and we've loosened him up and we've stretched him out and uh, now he's ready to go out in the field and play with his friends. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. Um, if you've got any questions at all then uh, please just get in contact. My website is jessicalimpkin.co.uk, there's a contact form there or you can find me on Facebook. Thank you.